Wow. This is cool. Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> Meet the virtual Pinkus Gutter and Eva Schloss. Hi, Pinkus. Hello, how are you? It's a digital representation of two real-life survivors of Nazi concentration camps. Because by then it was a torture camp. They each agreed to sit down with a team from the University of Southern California's Shoah Foundation for five days of interviews, enough to have answers ready for approximately 1,500 questions that visitors like us at the Museum of Jewish Heritage can ask. And how old were you when the war started? I was eight years old. The crude analogy is to something like Siri, where you talk and it talks back to you based on its understanding of what you're saying. Um, this is the first time that an actual person has been integrated into the technology. I went to five concentration camps. What was it like to lose your family? Well, it's, a, it's a question which is impossible to answer because I wasn't separated, I was torn apart. It personalizes history, makes you think about the ways that humans were affected by these larger narratives of world history, but it also makes you responsible for asking questions and coming up with the right questions and figuring out what you really need to know from survivors. Photos are one thing, but having a conversation with a survivor, it really, it makes it real, it makes you feel, it makes you think. The technology isn't perfect. Pincus, are you a fan of music? Unfortunately, no. Work on that. Yeah. Little glitch there. <laughs> and developers will openly admit that, but the virtual Eva and Pincus are constantly learning by more voices and more questions being asked. And a little glitch here or there won't take away from the impact. Sorry, I, I just got so emotional. That speaking to real life people can have. Is it hearing it directly from him? Absolutely. That... You're hearing the personal experience and you're hearing that under those circumstances, how they still had so much faith. Pinkus, what do you hope for the future? I am most hopeful that the world is going to be a better place than the one I live in. Reporting in New York for The Now, I'm Chris Welch.